So lately, I've been talking a lot, thinking a lot about what it means to be 100% authentically yourself. Because so many people fear it. And I just find that so very interesting because it's the best way to be. But lately, there are so many people out there who are so worried what other people will think about them. I mean, this has been a thing for so long now, my, my, my entire lifetime. But there's a better way to be. There's a happier way to be. There's certainly a healthier way to be. And that's learning to figure out who you are and let people be attracted to that rather than constantly trying to be this chameleon that serves everybody else's needs rather than considering your own needs and finding people who meet them. We live in this world where everybody is so concerned about everybody else, what they think, what they think of you, what you think you think they think of you. Because that's really all it is. You won't know. You will never know what someone thinks of you, really. The best you'll ever be able to do is know what you think they think. Even if they tell you, you may never know. They might be just not telling you the truth, but we can only meet people as deep as we meet ourselves. So depending on who you're talking to, they might not even know what they actually think of you. So spending our lives so worried about what other people think of us rather than just learning to be happy and letting people gravitate towards us that fit with that, finding our vibrational matches in life because we know what our vibration is. I don't know why anyone would try to be any other way because the other way is miserable. Take it from me, oh my goodness. I used to live my life constantly being this chameleon that wasn't necessarily drastically any different way with other people because I did have a firm identity that didn't change between people, but there were many different ways in which I acted depending on who I was with. Miserable, absolutely miserable. You have to constantly keep track. You have to constantly keep track of the lies because it is lying, because it's not you. It's the number one thing that I hear as a relationship complaint because people end up only being able to keep the mask up for so long. And then people turn around and go, oh, this isn't the person I knew. This isn't the person that I met. This isn't the person I got together with. No, actually it is. They're just no longer faking it around you anymore. You're no longer faking it around them anymore. So now you're not compatible and you might both be doing it. And you mo <laughs> you're probably both horribly wrong for each other. So rather than taking the time to figure out what everyone else might want you to be, because like I said, the only thing you can do is be how you think they think. You will never figure out what they want you to be. And trust me, they're never, if they don't like you for who you are, they're not going to like you for who you think they want you to be. Ask yourself, why do I think 
that people would dislike me if they knew the truth. Why do I think that people would dislike me if they knew the truth? Because honestly, even back when I was being different around different people, the people who loved me the most were the ones who knew me for 100% of authentically who I was. That's not a coincidence. That was kind of how I figured it out, was the people who loved me the most were the ones who knew me the best. 100% for who I was. Because they understood how the things that might bother me... <laughs> The things that might bother other people about me, they understood how those made up good parts about me. So they loved me for 100% of who I was because they saw how it all fit together. So they loved me for the things that were a little annoying, and they loved me for the things that were amazing because they saw how it all fit together. Everybody is capable of having this in their life because everybody is capable of being themselves. And you will attract what you are. That is the law of attraction. In a nutshell, I don't think people get it. The law of attraction is that we attract what we are. So if we're running around faking it, we're going to run around meeting and attracting people who fake it. So you're going to be constantly filled with a life of lies and masks, metaphorical masks. <laughs> it's a miserable life when you could be happy. You could learn to connect with yourself and let the people who love you come to you because there are people out there who love you for exactly who you are. You just have to find them. And the best way to find them is just be you and you will attract them. Vibrational match is one of my favorite terms because it describes everything about the law of attraction because that is how it works, period. That's all you need to know. You attract what you are. If you want to be attracting something else, be something else. If you want to attract what's best for you, just be you. With love and joy. And if you're not happy with who you are, you've probably got some healing to do. But you can do that healing with love and joy. Life doesn't have to be painful. Healing doesn't have to be hard and change doesn't have to be painful. And life is change. Change doesn't have to be painful. Life doesn't have to be painful. It can be exciting. In the best ways. So once again, ask yourself, why do I think people would dislike me if they knew the truth? Because honestly, if they dislike you for the truth of who you are, they don't deserve your time and you don't need theirs. There are people who will like you for the truth. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for another video. As always, I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley Sage Sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, my mailing list, Patreon, and my one-on-one -on -one sign up application, as well as my email. May the energy you serve serve you well, and let's keep making our way through.